Lesson 14, uh, the limit of a function. I've mentioned this in class a couple of times. That this is a new concept, but it's actually very simple. <clears throat> and let's take a look at this for a second. Uh, if we have a, a function, uh, say y equals x plus 2, the graph of that function looks like this. It's just a basic line. Uh, a basic line that has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 2. So I'll come up 2 and have a slope of 1, and there we go. Now, if the question is, what is the limit as uh, the limit as x approaches 3? Let's take a look at, uh, as, as we approach an x of 3 from the left, what is, what is, the, what is the limit? 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As we approach, as we, as we move to the right towards a 3, we are approaching 5 uh, for a y value. Pretty straightforward. Uh, as we come, if we approach from the right, as we approach 3 from the right, our y value is coming down and toward 5 also. And the easiest thing to do was, if I want to find the limit of this function when, as x approaches 3, remember the, the new idea here is that the, if the limit of a function is the limit of that function uh, as, well, I'm going to read the official definition. A function has a limit at a particular value of x if it has both a right-hand limit and a left-hand limit at that value of x, and the two limits are equal. So in this case, <clears throat> we approach from the, uh, approaching 3 from the left, the limit is 5. Approaching 3 from the right, the limit is still 5, uh, and it's the same limit. Okay. <clears throat> Now the easiest way to find that would be to just say, uh, would be to just plug in a three for the x, plug in a three for the x, and we would get a, a value of five, and that would be our answer. Yay, nice and easy. All right. Well, let's take a look at this function over here, though. f of x equals x squared minus x minus six over x minus three. Uh, what if we did the same thing and we just plugged in a three for the x? We're going to run into a problem because we're going to have 3 minus 3, which is 0, in the denominator. And as we know from a few math courses ago, dividing by 0 is a bad juju. Can't do that. <clears throat> so what do we do? Now, if we, if we were to graph this, uh, you could plug in your calculator and graph it pretty easily. Uh, or, why don't we use some of our uh, algebra mojo. Let's factor that numerator. The numerator is factorable to... Uh, x minus 3 times x plus 2. And the denominator is x minus 3. And, oh, hey, what do you know? Now that we factor the numerator, we can, these two terms cancel. And what, what are we ending up with? We end up with f of x equals x plus 2, which looks an awful lot like this. But technically it's not. What is the what's the graph of this going to look like? It's going to be a little circle at the thing. It's going to look exactly the same as this one because it reduces to y equals x plus 2. Oh. So it's going to look exactly the same with one little exception. Because, the ori because this is the original function, what do we know about the... Uh, let's come back, back over here for a second. What is the domain of this function, of this one over here? X equals all real numbers. All real numbers. We can plug in any real number for X. Doesn't matter, negative, positive, fraction, whole number, decimal, whatever. We can plug in any real number here. What's the domain of this function? X equals all real numbers so long as X is not equal to 3. Exactly. Everything except for 3, which means that we are going to have a hole in the graph right here, so we actually have a hole, I'm going to put a little circle there, because there, uh, this, this function is not defined at x equals 3, because if it was 3, then we, if we did plug in the 3, we would get division by 0, we can't do that, therefore we have to exclude an x value of 3 from our domain. But coming back to this idea of the limit, even though this function is not defined at 3, what is the limit? What's the limit of the function as we approach three from the left? As we as we move to the as we move this way toward three, what does our y value get close to? Five. Five. As we approach three from the right, what does our y value get close to? Five. Is this five and this five the same thing? 
Yes. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 3 of this function is also 5. And so the, the, we're starting you off with little baby steps here. So the, if we want to find the limit as x approaches 3 of this function, if the simplest thing to do is to just plug in this number for the x and see what you get. If you get a number like this, then you know, by a little bit of egg, you're done. If you are going, if you if you plug that in, it gives you a problem like division by zero. See if you can factor the numerator and cancel something in the denominator. So that's what we did here. We, fact, I, we factored this, realized that this canceled the denominator, and we're left with f of x equals x plus two. And now we plug in the three for the x. Now we plug in the three for the x plus two, and we get an answer of five. And we still were able to find our limit as x approaches 3. Yay. So that's what uh, that's what we watch for. Uh, let's walk through a couple more, more examples. Blue. Yeah, something else. Nah, okay. green. Alright. <clears throat> oh, you added purple. Well, if you listen to the video, I think it's a one-person class. Hi guys, I'm Caleb. My personal information is already on YouTube. Excellent. Uh, okay, so some other examples here. 14.1. If we, we want the limit as okay, lim, not lim, as x approaches 2, x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. First thing to try is always can I just plug in a 2? Can I do that? No! No, oh, why not? Because that would give us the by 0. That being the case, can we factor things? Yes. Yes, we can. How's the numerator factor? x plus 2, x minus 2. And we have x to the bottom. That's going to cancel. So now we have x plus 2. Now can I plug in a 2 for the x? Yes. Yes, I can. And so I get an answer of 4. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. Uh, let's try another one. Limit as x approaches 3 of this here. Can I plug in a 3 for the x? Yes. Oh, the denominator is going to be 3 plus 1, which is 4. It's going to be a real number, so sure, why not? As the x approaches 3, so let's plug in 3. So we got 3 squared plus 2 times 3 over 3 plus 1. 9 plus 6 is 15 over 4. We got a real number of 8 or not. Let's keep going here. Not three. The limit as x approaches three. Uh, x squared plus six x over x minus three. Can I just plug it in? Plug a three in. No. Nope. That's going to give me divided by zero. So let's see if we can factor. Can I factor that numerator? Yeah, you can take can out x. like an x. Did I count that down right? I don't know. Well, I can factor it, uh, but there's nothing in the numerator that cancels the denominator, so I'm just stuck with plugging in the 3, which is going to give me a big fat 0 on there, therefore we would say that the limit does not exist. And if we were to graph that, how fast are you to graph it? Not fast. Alright, good morning, calculator. It's low on battery. Low on battery? Yeah. That's what, oh, wow. You are really low on battery. It's red. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll charge that sometime soon. <laughs> yeah, sometime soon. Okay, let's, uh... We'll, we'll come back to um, graphing this later. I'm, I'm curious to see what the graph of this looks like. Uh, Sorry, okay, so guys. 14.4, moving right along. The limit as t, oh, this switched up the variable on us, as t approaches 2 of t minus 2 over t squared plus 4. Can I just plug in a 2? Well, it's not going to give me division by zero, so sure. So I've got 2 minus 2 over 2 squared plus 4. 2 minus 2 is? Zero. S, I can't even use S 
for a variable as s approaches negative 1, oh, 2, s squared plus 5, 5s, five that's why I hate using s's, uh, plus 3 over s plus 1. Can I just plug in negative 1? No. So let's see if we can get this numerator factor. <clears throat> that is so ugly. It's like 25 squared plus 55. Well, plus. It's, we're going to have, if we assume that we can factor it, it's going to have got 2s squared, so, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. We're just doing a uh, uh, 2s and an s. And also, if we, uh, and so, the, so this one here, since it's a 2, 2 is a prime number, we're only going to be able to do it as 2s and s. Mm -hmm. 3 is also a prime number, so it's going to have to be a 1 and a 3. Both of these signs are positive, so both of these are going to have to be positive, and a 1 and a 3 in one place or the other need to multiply out to get a 5s. If we do... The 5s. If I put a 3 here, I'm going to get 6s plus 1 is 7s. Let's put the 3 here and the 1 here. So we get 3s plus 2s is our 5s. There we go. And hey, what do you know? That cancels. Now I can just plug in the negative 1 for the s. We have 2 times negative 1. Plus three comes out two. One. one. <clears throat> so notice that the book is also, even though this is calculus, we're working on some uh, algebra two level factoring skills. <clears throat> uh, example fourteen point six. We've got the limit as x approaches two of uh, x. Q minus 8 up there from Q test over X minus 2. Can I just plug in the 2? Nope. Nope. I'm going to get a 0 for denominator. Can I factor the numerator? Yes. 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 That's, like I said, now you have to recognize uh, certain uh, algebra 2 level patterns. This is the difference of two cubes. And thus 2X plus 4. They're really stretching it here. Over x minus 2, so those are going to cancel. And now I can just plug in 2, and I get 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 4 equals 12. <clears throat> and this is why we drill the algebra and the factoring into you guys for a few years before you get calculus. Otherwise, this will probably take you a while. 14.7. Uh, let's see, 14.7. This is when I miss the smart board. I can just hit a little button to extend the page and have more kind of space. Ah, those are the good old days. All right, so the limit as x approaches 0 of uh, 3 plus x in parentheses squared minus 3 squared all over x. <clears throat> and notice I'm always asking, can I just, right from the very beginning, can I just plug in this number for this variable and do it? So I ask the question again. No, I can't because I have that on the bottom. Uh, factoring the top. Uh, you could go like work because this is the difference of two squares, but then I'd be factoring. It, that might get a little weird. Uh, why don't we just try? We have this expression parentheses squared. Let's try expanding that and see if see if we end up canceling the x. Three plus x squared is going to be nine plus six x plus x squared, and minus three squared is nine over x. Nine minus nine cancels. And we've got x squared plus 6x from top over x. This factors x times x plus 6 over x. Cancel, cancel. Now we have x plus 6. Now we can go ahead and plug in the 0 for the x, and we get 6. Yay. Yay. All right, so the, there's going to be one more example on a calculator, but we'll have to do that on a different video. So wrap for now. Long live Hong Kong. Long live democracy.